Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon from the DCUO community, and we're back in the Antimatter Metropolis Battle Zone. So, there's one missing link I didn't do yet for this series, and there's the additional solo mission that they added. So, here's the starting point for the heroes. Um, you can go back to my other video if you want to see the location on the villain side. It's going to be the same exact mission. They, they didn't do anything different cross-faction. But on the hero side, like you could easily miss this. Because it's a little bit off from the rest of the zone. So, I don't know, they probably did that for performance reasons. Because it, it was kind of like that with Starro too, where you had like the, the mission pickup for um, the added bounty like far away from the base camp. So you just pick it up here, and like other solo walk-ins, you can't group for this. If you group for this and walk in, you're each going to get your own instance. I know that that's a common one to cover for new players. Because they're always calling for walk-ins. Like you, you especially see that with Oa Under Siege. But yeah, we haven't been able to do that since before level 30 for solo missions. Alright, so this is just a short bit of uh, the Panopticon map. It's basically a hallway in one room. <coughs> so you can read all this stuff to see like the tie-ins with uh, Earth 3. Nothing special in here, you're just going to have the same Guardian ads that you had on the outside. I think this is basically just a filler. Like, because they made the raid uh, a weekly. So th this is filling in part of that part of the, the reward that would have been missing. And it also gives you something to do that's faster than doing the raid. So o overall this is the whole thing is going to be more efficient for getting marks this time around. And I'm kind of curious if they're going to keep this part the same next year now, because right right now Earth 3 is the most recent DLC, so it's kind of relevant to have it. But it's going to feel old if they do the same thing next year. And my gut feeling is they're probably going to switch this up, because if you look at the feat list, th there's nothing tied to this. Like, this is basically just giving you an additional gearbox. Um, I think you get a base item, too. Stand against me and you will fall! And, of course, the, the marks. The Cordian crowns. And also nothing special about this boss. Basically just an ad with a lot of health and counter mechanics. So, one-handed. If you're used to countering that, you should have no problem with him. Let's play a little game, it's called Road Rash. And you're it. Uh, 
Alright, so you get two crowns for that. This is probably faster than any of the outside missions, too. Um, okay, which box did I just get? Okay, that was from the raid. I just didn't open it yet. Yeah, I should have been paying attention to this more. But th this was likely it. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's... That was from a mission in Earth-3. Okay, so it's still called Centennial Collapse Loot Cache. That's weird. That's kind of confusing. Because Centennial Collapse is the, the name of the raid. But, um... Yeah, so the, the reward here is, is a gearbox. So you, you are forced to gear up if you do this mission daily. And I'm actually on a tune that I'm kind of pausing, so I'm going to do this carefully. Yeah, so right now my CR is 163. Um, the greens for unattuned gear are going to scale to 143. So if, if I grab the helmet, it's going to bump my CR. Um, if I grab the mask, it won't do anything. So that's the other box. I'm just going to grab the components. And I'm purposely not um, going to level up, so I'm going to take the mask. So th this will just be salvage. And it's 143 equivalent to the one that I currently have. And then, like the other dailies, you're, you're also going to get the bombs and the shields. So I think that, that should pretty much cap it off for the event coverage. Um, I might think about doing one for the feet run, although I, I kind of want to concentrate while doing that. Um, and I'm talking about the, the raid speed feet. Um, so I don't know, I'll, I'll think about doing that one. It probably won't be a live commentary. Like, I, I would rather just record that and then voice over after. Because uh, I, I, I wouldn't want any distractions while doing that. Um, but if, if I end up not doing that, I'll probably do a conclusion video towards the end. And uh, we'll just see how, how I fared with getting the rewards and making up from, for what I missed last year. Um, oh, and there also might be one like on the 10th or 11th, because I, I get the feeling that they're going to give us something, or something else is going to be added to this, because that's the actual anniversary date. So yeah, there's probably going to be one then also. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Hope you're enjoying the event, and thanks for watching.